Oh, look at you. Come here. Look at you. Oh, a young man. First day of the rest of your life. You look absolutely gorgeous. Blech. I look like a total idiot. Armageddon Time is a quietly affecting period piece about a boy who's growing up in 1980s America. He's trying to fit in at a fancy private school, even while he bristles at the casual bigotry of his classmates and how that affects his friendship with a black friend. Armageddon Time has a bunch of really strong performances. Anthony Hopkins, Jeremy Strong, and Anne Hathaway are all great. I like that it's a messy slice of life movie that doesn't offer any easy answers. Good. We've got another pretty good film over on home streaming, Causeway on Apple TV+. Jennifer Lawrence plays an injured soldier back home recovering in New Orleans when she strikes up a tenuous friendship with an auto mechanic who's played by Brian Tyree Henry. Now both of these characters have some secrets in their past, but this tale of finding strength from your friends has a quiet dignity that I found quite compelling. Enola Holmes was a huge pandemic hit for Netflix, so we get a sequel this week. Millie Bobby Brown returns as the sister of Sherlock Holmes. She takes on a case of her own that leads her down a dangerous path. Now this is a film that's set in the past, but with a very modern female power protagonist. The game's afoot in this fun little sequel that should appeal primarily to teenage girls. My whole life, all I wanted. I'm afraid we found your son at a polka party. Just to make up new words to a song that already exists. Oh. Well, you should do that then. And finally, a delightfully odd little movie, Weird, the Al Yankovic story. Daniel Radcliffe stars as Weird Al in a music biopic that's very silly, just like Weird Al himself. The film has a lot of cameos and a good heart. It feels a bit like a campy cult film, but it's a lot of fun for those who have the Roku channel. I saw in you something special, an artist with something to give to the world. Finally, I want to take a moment to talk about The Banshees of Inna Sharon, opening in Houston this week for those who are willing to take a drive for some great cinema. Colin Farrell and Brendan Gleeson star in this very Irish comedy. It's a tale of the end of a friendship with two delightfully odd characters at the center. It has a lot of old Irish country charm, lots of dark humor, and a superb screenplay and direction from writer-director Martin McDonough, the man behind In Bruges and Three Billboards Outside of Ebbing, Missouri. Expect Banshees of Inna Sharon to be among this year's major Oscar players. I predict that it will get nominations for Best Picture, Director, Screenplay, Actor, Supporting actor and actress and more. It's certainly worth a drive to Houston or you can wait until all those Oscar nominations roll in and it will open up in smaller Southeast Texas communities. And that's what's new this week of the movies. I'm Sean McBride, the movie guy.